after after CPS did leave um, and they closed their case, we had a meeting with my discipler. Uh, my my husband and I had a meeting with um, with my discipler because my husband was in the studies at the time. Um, so we met with with the leader of his study, um, my discipler, and then the leaders of our family group. And um, they told us that we needed to make a change, um, that, you know, uh, that we didn't deserve to have our children. Um, they told us a lot of things and then, um, they tried because they couldn't find anything actually wrong with me. Um, they started telling me that I was manipulative, that I was destructive, which I'm a lot of things, but manipulative is not one of them. Um, and there, there was just like this, this, this blame throwing. They just, they just had to find something wrong with me. Otherwise they didn't have anything to fix. Um, and then, um, very recently after that, my, uh, my husband and I, with all of our children, all of our three children, we, um, we ended up homeless and we were living in a hotel for probably about a week and a half. And uh, we, it, it was very difficult, and we were really struggling. And um, and then my husband lost his job, that was keeping us in the hotel. And um, my husband comes comes back to the hotel that 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 afternoon, and he tells me, um, one of the one of the leaders in our family group is coming over here to talk to us. And I kind of tilted my head at him and I'm like, he's coming here. And he said, yeah, he's, he's coming here. And I'm like, why is he doing that? And it, it should have said something to me at that time that, um, that something was very wrong for somebody to want to come to, to a, a hotel room with, um, you know, with everything that was going on in our lives at that time, the last thing that we needed was a guest. Um, so um, I, I remember getting ready for him to be over there that day. And I was, I was on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor because I didn't want there to be even the smallest speck for him to say that I was doing something wrong. Um, which if you ever scrubbed uh, hard hotel floors, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun when you've got two, three kids jumping all over you and needing things and you're, you're trying to make everything look perfect and it's really not. Things are just terrible. And so he comes and um, th this was the end of the line for my husband was that when he got there, he told him and he told us that um, if we, uh, if we didn't do everything that he told us to do, that he was going to personally come and remove our children and um, that he was, he was getting, he was going to come and take them away from us if we didn't do everything he told us to do. Um, which what he wanted was he wanted um he wanted he wanted my husband to find a new job he wanted us to find a place to go um and if we couldn't find a place to go then he wanted us to go to the shelter and that was kind of the last thing that i wanted it wasn't really any solution for us to end up in a shelter with uh, a five-year-old a two-year-old and a two-month-old it's very dangerous place to be is in a shelter with a small tiny baby uh, 